In this video, we're going to be creating our first Angular service. And what we'll do is we'll create a auth service. And this auth service is going to be for dealing with our user, like authentication with our user. So in this service, we'll have like our register method, our login method, uh, changing password methods. We'll have all of them within this service. And in this video, we'll create a login method um, as well. We'll start on that, but we'll be adding more in the future though. And if you're not quite sure what a service is, if we go back to the values component, we created this in video nine, I think it was, and we added this method within the um, TS file. Let's open this up. And the job of this method, it, it makes a HTTP call and then it gets back the values, it logs it and it, it assigns it to a variable. But this is not really the best practice for doing this. Let's say, for example, you wanna do this across 50 different components or, or whatever. We only have a few components right now, but let's say you wanna do this over and over again. Well, you would have to copy and paste this into all these different components. And that could be a lot of duplicate code. And keep in mind, this is only like a couple lines of code. And a lot of these methods could be like 50 lines of code. So that's a lot of duplicate code. And that's not really the best practice. So, so a better way of doing it is creating a service, then copying and pasting this method into that service, and then sharing that service throughout all your different components. And that's a better practice of doing that. And also it really breaks down the area of responsibility between your components and your services. And you'll see that as we go on building out the, the service. So let's go ahead and create our service. So now where do we want to uh, create our first service? Well, you could, it really depends on your preference. Like you could create that auth service since it has to deal with these components in here. Uh, that is one way of doing it. Or you could go and create another folder. And I've seen that a lot actually, like and call it core and then store your services and your interfaces and your models all inside that core folder. But I prefer to just uh, store it within my shared folder. And that's just a personal preference. You can actually put it anywhere. So I'll put it within my shared folder and I'm gonna create another folder in here called services. And I, all the services I create throughout this application, I'll put within this services folder in here. Let's go ahead and generate our first service. So open up the command line. And then inside of your spa, uh, ng, and then G for generate. And then we're gonna generate a service and I'm putting that inside the shared folder and the name of the service is gonna be auth. Okay, so there's our brand new folder and there is our brand new auth service. So right out of the box, when you generate a new service, this is what you get. And we're gonna be uh, creating our login method in here. And if we actually go back here and uh, look at this. This is very similar to what we're going to be doing. We're going to be pulling in the HTTP client. Actually, I could just copy this and throw that at the top. And then uh, we're going to be making an HTTP call to one of our APIs. And let's go into Postman and check that API out. Here's the API that we're going to be calling. So we'll set up our login method to call this API and we'll pass in this information. And we should get back this information down here. I'm going to make a real quick change though before we move on and we'll get rid of all this information right here. All I'm after right here is the token. So we'll just make a real quick change to our auth controller on the back end. So let's take care of that real quick. So if we go back to our project and then if we go into the uh, back end or actually I'll just hit control P and auth controller. There it is. And then inside of the login method, this is the API that we're calling. I uh, will just make a real simple change right here. Uh, we'll just add on to the end here result. And this will just pass back uh, the token and not all that extra information. Uh, hit save. I have the server running on .NET watch, so that should automatically boot. So if we go back to Postman and hit send. Okay, that's a lot better. So this is what we'll, we'll grab out of the API when we call it. Uh, let's go and just copy this. I'll recopy this again. And let's uh, add this to our service. Out of the service, I'll just paste that right here at the top of the class. So I'll call this uh, base URL or auth URL. That'd be better because we're calling the auth controller. So URL, and that's going to be equal to a string and it's going to be uh, this endpoint. And uh, I'll just get rid of the end here. We'll add that in when we make, make our call. Now this is a lot better doing it this way. And the reason is, is 
let's say for example you do it uh, this way you 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 entered in uh, the method this way well let's say for example you have like 10 different methods and you're doing it this way and let's say you ever need to change your your API like the address or anything like that you would have to go into all these different methods and track them down and make those changes and if you do it this way though you just need to go to the top of the page make this one change and that should follow through all your different methods so it's a lot better doing it this way and we're actually going to change this up a little bit more we're going to be adding into our environment variables later on but for now this will work now that uh, we have this let's go and pull into our constructor our HTTP client and we'll need that to make our HTTP calls if we go back here and we already did that in here I'm just going to copy and paste copy this go back in here throw that in there okay so we're all set up now now we're ready to create our login method and uh, let's uh, start on that so login and we're gonna be passing in the model or the username and password that the user gives us so that's I'll just call it model and it's gonna be a type of any make sure we close it up okay so this is gonna be returning an observable so return this HTTP that we uh, pulled in so HTTP and then it's gonna be a post and this is going to take a couple parameters like you could actually pass in uh, like many different parameters we're only going to be passing in two though one is going to be the URL and then the second one's going to be the models uh, that was passed in so let's first start on the URL and that's going to be our auth URL so this auth URL and then plus and then make sure you add on the login that's the method that we're going to be calling and now let's go and pass in our second parameter the second parameter is going to be the model okay so this should return an observable now there's multiple different things you could do with observables one is you could use the pipe method and if we uh, use this and what this basically does is it chains together a bunch of different operators or a bunch of different functionalities in this case we're only going to use one and it's going to be called map uh, later on we'll definitely be using more operators but uh, for now we only need to use one and we need to pull this in from rxjs so let's import that actually I'll just copy this and then uh, this is gonna be map and this is gonna be rxjs or there it is and this is gonna be operators okay and that should take care of that now we need to just finish this off now this is going to get passed in a response response type of any and then make sure I close it up correctly okay so one thing we want to do is we want to grab that token and and uh, set it to the local storage so to do that we'll just say const and we'll, we'll uh, grab that user equals response and then if uh, response or actually user dot and if we go back to our API here so here we have a result and then here uh, we have a succeeded so what we'll do is we'll check to see if this is true and if it is then we'll go grab the token so that's the way I'm thinking of doing it there's actually multiple ways of doing it so if result and then I'll just paste this succeeded so if this is true then we're gonna go in and grab that token and we'll sign it to our local storage so set item oops set item and then we'll call this token and what we want to sign to that is the user dot token okay and we'll just clean this up a little bit and I forgot to add this here very important okay that's why I was getting there that's pretty much all we need to do with our login method now in the next video what we're going to do is set up our our component so we'll inject this auth service into our login component if we go back here and we'll start setting that up and then in the next video we'll actually make our call and see if we can log the user in so I'll see you then